Hi, my name is Mark Curtis and I'm Head of Innovation and Thought Leadership at Accenture Interactive. So, what does technology want? Well, I'm not really that fond of that question because I don't think technology wants anything. I think it's humans that want things and technology is a tool that we use or a methodology that we use in order to achieve our goals. And I think people often ask, is technology neutral? I don't think it is neutral. It, you know, a pistol is not a neutral thing. It's only there to do one thing. You can't hunt with it. It's just there to shoot humans. And so I think some forms of technology can actually be not morally neutral. So I think we should be focusing on the question, what do humans want? What's good for us? What's good for the planet? Not what does technology want? So I've been asked, what is my favorite tool? Um, what could I not live without? This is probably a bit of an exaggeration to say I couldn't live without this. But it's this, it's a Grand Force Brook uh, splitting maul, and you use this end of it in conjunction with this thing, which is called a wedge. It's beautifully designed, so there's a slight twist in it, which you might be able to see. You use this on very wide logs, wide and deep logs, maybe this wide, maybe wider and deep. You hammer one or two of these in and they create splits and allow you to split up the wood into firewood <clears throat> and it goes through stuff like butter. It's just the most beautifully designed thing. It's even got the signature of the smith that made it. So what cultural thing did I absorb during the pandemic which has had a really big effect on me? I would say it's a documentary that my wife and made me watch called Ways of Seeing by John Berger. It was made back in the early 1970s for the BBC. You can find it on YouTube and it's absolutely exceptional. I can't really describe it except to say that it helps you recontextualize the way in which you see things. It's about art, but it's about so much more.